Hello YouTubers, and welcome to having a blast on Wing Commander Saga The Darkest Dawn, Part 2. Well, in our last mission, in fact our first mission should I say... Be quiet, love. Yeah, so, um, yeah, in our first mission we ran into some cap ships uh, along our Diamond Patrol, which, um, well, it's, um, it's quite unusual for Wing Commander, and it can only mean bad stuff ahead. So... Let's press on, shall we? I'm going to see if we can take a drink while uh, not interfering with the microphone. Since we confirmed the location of the KIS Starkmar, Colonel Walker has been sending wings from the other squadrons to flush out her fighter complements. We've got our fighters down to size, and now it's time to drop the hammer. We are sending in a strike to finish her off. Alpha Wing will be me, Phalanx, Grey Wolf, and Sandman. I will be the flight leader and overall command of the strike. Our flight of four Hellcats will provide primary fighter cover. First we will head to Nav 1 and sweep out the few remaining fighters that Tharkmar has on her decks. Once that is done, we will proceed to Nav 2, where the carrier has retreated toward the Dakota jump point. Bravo Wing, a trio of Thunderbolts from the Mudshark Squadron will be there to provide additional fighter cover if needed, but their main job is to go after the Tharkmar's destroyer escort. If they need a hand, we will help them out. Our Hellcats and Thunderbolts only have a few minutes to clear out all enemy fighters and defenses. When that time is up, Charlie Wing, consisting of two Longbows from the William Tell Squadron, will enter the combat area and commence their torpedo runs against the Tharkmar. When all is done, we will return to the Hermes via Nav 3, as not to reveal her location to any cats in the area. Great, so, mission 2, we're out on strike. I, uh, I love a good strike mission, although I prefer it uh, in the seat of something heavier, so I can take out the big ships. But, hey, I like running, uh, you know, escorting them in as well. It's only freighters I don't like escorting, but we'll get to that later on. Ah! I did it again. Come on, you bunch of slow pokes. I'm well out of the hangar now. Alpha and Bravo Wing, swarm on my way. You guys know the drill. Set out pilots for Nav 1. Sandman, oh. I'm making you the leader of Alpha Flight. I'll still be in overall command of the mission, but I want to see how you can lead a four-plane flight in combat. Cheers! You really think that's a good idea? Grey Wolf, cool it. I just want to see what he's made of. Proceed to next waypoint. Then, let us proceed to the next waypoint. I won't let you down, sir. Yeah, that's one thing about Saga. You're not actually a wing leader. You are not the wing commander, which is a first for a wing commander game. But. It shows you things from a different perspective, being on someone's wing as opposed Fighters to leading it. Take it to them. Damn right I will. <clears throat> oh. Uh, yeah. Uh, Alpha Wing, uh, engage the enemy. Sure thing. Come on, man. Ah, this one's mine. Oh. Oh, for God's sakes. Can't you see I'm driving here? Brilliant. You're damn right they did. Oh. See, your wingmen are slightly too good, so you've got to be a bit better. But, you know, just watching the explosions is pretty enough. You bet your ass. Proceed to next waypoint. Epic music as well. What happened to epic game music? Seriously. Ah. Ship sighted. Looks like we're right on time. Crack him. Looks like that destroyer's shield generators are down. Mud sharks, it's all yours. Roger that. Psychopath Avatar, do not attack. That destroyer is mine. Yeah, whatever. We'll keep the little ones off you. Of course, Captain. So Hmm, I'm... Looks like the cat laid out the red carpet. Good 
the time. Keep them waiting, boys. I'm Joseph Fighters, Narcans. No match for our Hellcats. Thank you. Take out that fighter cover. Let's do this. Yeah, but go on, have one of them. Crikey. Alright, you can have a missile as well. But only because I'm, I like you very much. Or maybe you can. Oh. Wow, what is wrong with this guy? Stupid. They're called wingmen for a reason, mate. Come on then. Boom! I'm not gonna yell headshot. Oh. You're trying to shoot me? Okay. about Mastermind. He, so he sounds sort of like a news reporter. More fighters are being launched. They're going after the bombers. Get them. So it's always nice and courteous to take out the turrets, but it's even more courteous to take out the fighters. Oh, that one's gone, hasn't it? Yeah. Ooh, you're skipping a bit today. So much for the fire cover. Right. Don't want to get caught in that engine wash. That's something that they... Oh, I best fly away. Watch this. Oh yeah, scratch one flat top. I love running away and just watching him blow up. Oh, what's all that? Major, I read multiple disturbances at the drone point. Hmm. That doesn't look too good. What are we dealing with? Destroyer. Another destroyer. Call that. Oh, Mara are coming in. Oh, One heavy carrier, Banta Cara class. Two heavy cruisers, four destroyers, two corvettes. Somehow they don't look happy to see us. 
We've already done our job. All fighters withdraw. Yeah, let's get the hell Proceed out of here. To next Won't get any argument from me there. Go! I have such a nerdgasm when they do that flyby, I, I just can't help myself. All pilots, set course for the Hermes. No worries, mate. Proceed to next waypoint. job out there, Bloodhounds. The destruction of the Kilrathi light carrier would have wrestled the system back under Confederation control. However, the arrival of the new heavy carrier group has spoiled those plan plans. We've identified the Kilrathi heavy carrier as the KIS de Poise. Intelligence reports that the commander of that vessel has a bone to pick with Captain Moran. Apparently these two go way back. Needless to say, Tactical has ascertained that this Kilrathi will follow us anywhere to restore his honor. To that I say, bring it on. There will be a funeral for Captain Paul McCoy on the flight deck at 1800 hours. Uniform is Class A dress blues. Until then, we'll remain on standby alert. Dismissed. Cool, and that is mission two. A nice little, uh, what I'd say is a nice little strike mission, but it's more observation of a strike and taking out anything that threatens a strike. Um, still a brilliant mission though. Um, so. Let's see what happens in Mission 3. Until next time, YouTubers, if you have been, thank you very, very much for watching.